today we will discuss another important topic thyroid overview preparation time allotted 3 minutes try to utilize the whole 3 minutes by reading the scenario again and again try to understand the scenario well for examination and discussion 8 minutes time allotted warning bell will be given at 6 minute total marks allotted 8 scenario what are the scenario we can expect in examination there could be thyroid swelling there could be features of hypothyroidism which are fatigue lethargy cold intolerance weight gain constipation change in voice and dry or thick skin in hyperthyroidism palpitation fatigue tremor anxiety disturbed sleep weight loss heat intolerance excessive sweating and polydipsia could be associated introduction greet introduce yourself and define your role and responsibility wash your hand with sanitizer and take all the covid precautions ask for consent before examination and doing exposure make rapo by asking short question what is your name who is your favorite sports star and explain the procedure what you are going to do look for any dysmorphism turner's in turner syndrome thyroid dysfunction is commonly associated there could be distress look for any disease stigmata and measure height weight head some conference and plot them in appropriate growth chart look around the surrounding and look for any device or drugs present there or not levothyroxine is very commonly prescribed for hypothyroidism and for hyperthyroidism beta blocker methamazole drugs are used start doing inspection from head to toe start from face there could be hypothyroid phases mixedematous phases could be present mixedematous phases could be present there could be large fontanelles there could be macroglossia in hyperthyroidism you could expect facial flushing thin skin bulging of eyes eyes redness any dryness and there could be visual disturbances and you need to know the eye signs first sign is dull rimpy signs where eyelid retraction is present then von Graffi sign which is lid lack of upper eyelid on downward gaze look for any lead edema or proptosis which is also known as exophthalmos and lastly mobius sign which is not able to converge eyes then do the examination of neck start from inspection define size shape extent whether the swelling moves with swallowing or not or whether it is move move with moves with taking out of tongue or not to differentiate it from thyroglossal cyst then do the palpation in palpation always confirm the inspectory findings as well as look for any tenderness whether any redness present or not whether it is hot to touch and what is the consistency then do the percussion to check any retrosternal extension you should start percussion from the sternal border at the le level of second intercostal space to lateral side and lastly auscultation look for any thyroid bruit present or not and you need to know the lymph node examination any lymph node is enlarged or not then examination of hand in hyperthyroidism there could be tremor skin could be thin very sweating and you need to know 
whether water hammer pulse is present or not. In hypothyroidism, there could be thick hand and it, it could be cold to touch and always check the pulse for any bradycardia. In chest, you have to do CVS examination. In hyperthyroidism, tachycardia, flow murmur could be associated. In hypothyroidism, bradycardia could be associated. Respiratory system examination. In hyperthyroidism, there could be tachypnea. Respiratory distress could be present due to pressure effect on tra trachea due to huge thyroid swelling. Then examination of abdomen. In hypothyroidism, there could be distended abdomen with umbilical hernia. Genitalia examination is very important. Try to assess the pubertal staging and then examination of extremities. In hypothyroidism, hypotonia could be present. In hyperthyroidism, hypertonia tremor could be present. Then examination of skin. In hyperthyroidism, it could be itchy, skin thinning, rashes, or articular hydradenitis, separate over small painful lumps could be present. In hypothyroidism, there could be thick and dry skin. In order to finish examination, always check vitals and CNS examination. In hypothyroidism, there could be mental retardation. In hyperthyroidism, proximal myopathy, exaggerated knee jerk could be present. Key points. Try to assess the thyroid function. Comment on thyroid swelling and association, any complication and investigations. Mainly thyroid function test, ultrasound scan, anti-thyroid peroxidase antibody level. Multidisciplinary team approach is the management. There could be surgical, there could be pharmacological. In hypothyroidism, levothyroxine should be supplemented. And in hyperthyroidism, methimazole, beta blocker, radioactive iodine are used. Don't forget one of the common side effect of methimazol is agranulocytosis. Thank you.